Number 10. Enuitak Atoll, Marshall Islands Part of the Ralic chain in the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean, Enuitak Atoll is a large coral island that covers a little over three square miles. What makes it so dangerous is the fact that the U.S. government conducted 43 nuclear tests there and had to build a huge dome structure to contain the radioactive materials. Because of the radiation, authorities had to evacuate over 800 people from the island. It seems that the place will be uninhabitable for at least another 10 years. Number 9. Seba According to the Caribbean Hurricane Network's website, in the last 150 years, the tiny island of Seba has been hit by more severe hurricanes than any other place in the territory, which is saying a lot because the Caribbean is notorious for being the incubator of most severe storms. Seba, which is part of the Lesser Antilles chain and is said to be a municipality of the Netherlands, has been hit by 15 Category 3 storms and 7 Category 5s. That's why most travel agents will encourage you to visit in the winter when there aren't as many weather threats. Number 8. Mayakejima, Japan How would you feel about living in a town where you have to carry a gas mask everywhere you go? Oh right, with the way things are going nowadays, maybe you already live in a place like that. Anyhow, Mayakejima Island, part of the Izu Group southeast of Honshu and just over 100 miles away from Tokyo, makes our list of most dangerous islands to live on because of the cloud of harmful sulfur dioxide gas spit out by volcanoes. At one point, back in 2000, it got so bad they had to evacuate the entire island. Some citizens started coming back in 2005, and by 2012, some 2,775 people were back on the island. Although some people don't wear their gas masks 24-7, they do carry them everywhere, and siren alarms ring out when the toxicity level becomes particularly dangerous. Of course, this place isn't exactly a tourist magnet, but apparently some people are curious to see this place where everyone seems to be at some weird costume ball. So they do visit the island, but should have medical tests done to evaluate their pulmonary capacity, and they need to bring their own gas masks. No kidding. Number 7. Yangbai Island Yangbai is a large island off the coast of Rakhine State, Burma, and extends about 520 square miles. It was made famous because of the Battle of Yangbai Island, which occurred when the British and Japanese forces clashed during World War II. This battle had a very odd and eerie conclusion. When the Japanese forces tried to retreat because the British were clearly winning the battle, saltwater crocodiles devoured between 400 and 1,000 soldiers, depending on who tells the story. This is known as the greatest disaster animals have ever inflicted on humans. The military has since left the island, but the crocodiles have not. Number 6. Okunoshima Although it wouldn't necessarily be dangerous to live on Okunoshima Island per se, it's notoriously renowned for having been home to Japan's World War II poison gas factory. Also known as Rabbit Island, because rabbits were used as lab animals there, Okunoshima was marred by such secrecy, Japan even wiped the island off its maps for years. Six kilotons of mustard gas were produced there in all those years. So although it's kind of a creepy place to live, it seems that after the war, the island was cleaned up and the bunnies were released by the children that live there and are now running wild and protected. Still not sure I'd want to have a home there, though. Number 5. Farallon Island Although Farallon Island is absolutely beautiful and regularly visited by divers because it's a natural wildlife refuge for sharks, seals, whales, and many seabirds, it still has its problems. From 1946 to 1970, the Pacific Ocean in that area off the coast of San Francisco in the United States was used as a nuclear waste dump. The exact risk to the environment is still unknown, but scientists think that trying to pull out the containers of nuclear waste around Farallon Island might actually cause more harm than good. We're talking about 47,555 gallon drums of hazardous waste here, folks. Number 4. Bikini Atoll, Marshall Islands Although the Bikini Atoll, the second of two Marshall Islands in our list, is considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it's dangerous for two reasons, nuclear radiation and sharks. Between 1946 and 1958, this Pacific Ocean beauty was the site of more than 20 nuclear weapons tests, and although the island and many of her sisters were declared safe in 1997, most of its original citizens have chosen to not return. Why? Well, maybe because eating locally grown produce is not advised, for one. Also, since there's been very little fishing in the area in the last 65 years, sharks have been flourishing, which makes the waters even more treacherous. 
Yet, hundreds of adventurous divers, or should we say, people with a death wish, come to the island each year to explore the numerous shipwrecks around it. Number 3. Reunion Island, Indian Ocean a little over 93 miles southwest of Mauritius, the East African volcanic island nation also set in the Indian Ocean, Reunion Island is a gorgeous, lush place owned by France and known for its Creole culture. It's also a famous destination for climbers, notably the Bitan de la Fournaise, an active volcano that is incredible to climb and rewards mountaineers with breathtaking views. Unfortunately, the waters all around the beautiful location are so shark infested that even the locals have started moving away. As a matter of fact, the concentration of sharks is so high around the island that surfing and swimming have been banned since 2013. Too many deadly shark attacks have plagued the once popular tourist destination, making it one of the most dangerous islands in the world. Number 2. Ilha de Quimada Grande 20 miles off the coast of Brazil, near Sao Paulo, Ilha de Quimada Grande makes our list because it's the home of the Golden Lance Head Viper, the world's deadliest serpent whose venom actually melts human flesh. It's believed that 4,000 of these creatures slither rampant on the island, which is 4.6 million square feet in surface. That might sound like a lot, but that snake population's density has been enough for the Brazilian government to ban access to the island. That's okay, I wasn't really planning on visiting anyway. Number 1. North Sentinel Island Situated far into the Bay of Bengal in the Indian Ocean, North Sentinel Island is inhabited by the Sentinelese tribe, one of the most dangerous in the world. Although the region around is very beautiful with its clear sapphire water, a secure ring of submerged coral reefs, and powdery white beaches, there is very little that's known about the inner island because the tribe is not very hospitable towards strangers. As a matter of fact, the tribe made headlines in 2006 when it killed two fishermen who had approached the island illegally. Although some businessmen are thinking of taking over the island to build tourism resorts and hotels, they better think twice before they attack the Sentinelese tribe. They protect the island, which is about the size of Manhattan in New York City, like a lion protects its den, making it one of the most dangerous islands to visit in the world.